Atlanta Nights is a collaborative novel created in 2004 by a group of science fiction and fantasy authors with the express purpose of producing an unpublishably bad piece of work so as to test whether publishing firm Publish America would still accept it. It was accepted. After the hoax was revealed, the publisher withdrew its offer. The primary purpose of the exercise was to test Publish America's claims to be a, quote, traditional publisher that, end quote, end quote, that would only accept high-quality manuscripts. Critics have long claimed that Publish America is actually a vanity press that pays no special attention to the sales potential of books they publish, since most of their revenue comes from the authors rather than the book buyers. Publish America had previously made some highly derogatory public remarks about science fiction and fantasy writers because many of their critics came from those communities. Those derogatory remarks influenced the decision to make such a public test of pub Publish America's claims. Background Publish America described itself as a traditional publisher and claimed to accept only high-quality manuscripts for publication. Its website further stated that the company received over 70 manuscripts a day and rejected most of them. At one point, Publish America posted articles on their author's market website stating that, among other things, science fiction and fantasy writers have it easier. It's unfair, but such is life. As a rule of thumb, the quality bar for sci-fi and fantasy is a lot lower than for all other fiction. Therefore, beware of published authors who are self-crowned uh, writing experts. When they tell you what they do and not uh, to do in your own book uh, to get it published, always first ask them what genre they write. If it's f sci-fi or fantasy, run. They have no clue what it is to write a real life fiction sto stories and how to find them a home unless you are a sci-fi or fantasy author yourself. Authors market never trust the experts. Secondly, in authors market only trust your own eyes. But alas, sci-fi and fantasy genres have also attracted some of the lesser gods, writers who have erroneously believed that sci-fi, because it is set in a distant future, does not require believable storylines, or that fantasy, because it is set in conditions that have never existed, does not need believable everyday characters. Obviously, and unfortun unfortunately, there are not too many of them, but the ones who are indeed uh, not ashamed to be seen as literary parasites and plagiarists are usually the loudest, just like the proverbial wheel that needs the most grease. Preparation In retaliation, a group of science fiction and fantasy authors, under the direction of James D. MacDonald, collaborated on a deliberately low-quality work, complete with obvious grammatical errors, nonsensical passages, and a complete lack of a coherent plot. The effort was partly inspired by another collaborative hoax work, Naked Came the Stranger. As the working title of Atlanta Nights was Naked Came the Bad Fic. The distinctive flaws of Atlanta Nights include non-identical chapters written by uh, two different authors you, from the same segment of the outline chapters 13 and 15, a missing chapter, number 21, two chapters that are word-for-word -word identical to each other, chapters 4 and 17, two different chapters with the same number, 12 and 12, and a chapter written by a computer program that generated random text based on patterns found in the previous chapters, number 34. Characters change gender and race, they die and reappear without explanation, spelling and grammar are non-standard, and the formatting is inconsistent. The initials of the characters who were named in the book spelled out the phrase Publish America is a vanity press. Under MacDonald's direction, the finale revealed that all of the previous events of the plot had been a dream, although the book continues for several more chapters. Submission, acceptance, and then repudiation. 
The completed manuscript was offered to publish America by an unrevealed person not usually associated with fiction. The manuscript was accepted for publication on the 7th of December, 2004. The hoaxers reviewed the contract with legal counsel and made the decision not to carry the hoax through to actually publishing the book. On the 23rd of January, 2005, the hoaxer was revealed by the authors. On 24th of January, 2005, Publish America retracted its acceptance, stating that, after further review, the novel failed to meet their standards. Publication The authors subsequently published the book under, through the print-on-demand publisher Lulu under the pseudonym Travis T., with all profits going to the Science Fiction and Fantasy Writers of America Emergency Medical Fund. Lulu's description of the novel states, Atlanta Nights is a book that could only have been produced by an author well-versed in believable storylines set in conditions that exist today with believable everyday characters. Accepted by a traditional publisher, it is certain to resonate with an audience. Teresa Nielsen Hayden's review said, the world is full of bad books written by amateurs, but why settle for the merely regrettable? Atlanta Nights is a bad book written by experts. Authors The authors of the chapters of this book include Chapter 1, Sherwood Smith Chapter 2, James D. MacDonald Chapter 3, Sheila Finch Chapter 4, Charles Coleman Finlay Chapter 5, Julia West Chapter 6, Brooke West Chapter 7, Adam Troy Castro. Chapter 8, Alan Steele. Chapter 9, Alan Rogers. Chapter 10, Mary Catelli. Chapter 11, Andrew Burt. Chapter 12, Victoria Strauss. Chapter 12, Shira Damon. There are two Chapter 12s. Chapter 13, Vera Nazarin. Chapter 14, Sean P. Fodora. Chapter 15, Teresa Nielsen Hayden. Chapter 16, Ken Houghton. Chapter 17, Charles Coleman Fried Finlay. And this chapter is identical to Chapter 4. Chapter 18, M. Turval Heights. Chapter 19, Kevin O'Donnell Jr. Chapter 20, Chuck Rothman. Chapter 22, Laura J. Underwood. Chapter 21 is intentionally missing. Chapter 23, Jenna Schneider. Uh, chapter 24, Paul Melko. Chapter 25, Tina Kuzminski. Chapter 26, Ted Kuzminski. Chapter 27, Megan Lindholm and Robin Hobb. Uh, chapter tw uh, 28, Danica and Brooke West. Chapter 29, Rowan and Julia West. Chapter 30, Daryl Murphy. Chapter 31, Michael Armstrong. Chapter 32, Pierce Askren. Chapter 33, De Deanna Hoke. Chapter 34, computer generated by the software Bonsai Story Generator. Chapter 35, Catherine Mintz. Chapter 36, Peter Heck. Chapter 37, Turval Heights. Wikipedia does not list an author for Chapter 38. Chapter 39, Brenda Clow, Chapter 40, Judy B. Castro, and Chapter 41, Terry McGarry. Film. The book and story behind it were optioned for a film in February 2011 by producing team Roy C. Booth and Rachel Saltzman, who were also slated to co-write and co-direct the film. The option's money has gone to the SFWA Emergency Fund. Production was tentatively scheduled to begin in August 2011, but on 16th of May 2011, the crowd crowdfunding campaign ended without reaching its goal. See also The Novel's Portal, The Eye of Aragon, and Naked Came the Stranger. References in this article include Travis T. 2005, Atlanta Nights, Lulu, ISBN 978-1-4116-2298-2, Meg Phillips, 7th of December 2004, Publish America Accepts Atlanta Nights Manuscript, PDF, University of Denver, 
Publish America, archived from the original on the 5th of January, 2007. The website scifidimensions.com. Author's Market, Never Trust the Experts, uh, archived from the original in 2003. Author's Market, Only Trust Your Own Eyes, archived from the original in 2003. Denise Howell, James D. McDonald, 15th of November 2006, Vandy Presses, Sound Policy with Denise Howell, podcast, The Conversations Network. Absolute Right Water Cooler, is it a bird, is it a plane? No, it's a turkey, absoluteright.com. Science Fiction Authors, Ho Hoax Vanity Publisher, press release, PR Web, 28th of January 2005. Nielsen Hayden, Teresa Nielsen Hayden, Atlanta Nights, and Publish America, Making Light, 28th of January, 2005. And Rachel Saltzman, uh, February 2011, Atlanta Nights, the movie. External links, the official page, uh, webpage of Travis T., the contract offered by Publish America, literature, Atlanta Nights, at TV Tropes, and full text of Atlanta Nights at the website of contributor Andrew Burt.